Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you once again to this new section. May I quickly crave your audience to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Breaking news. River State Governor Onyesom Wike withdraws from Edo PDP reconciliation. Describes National Working Committee members as tax collectors. River State Governor River State Governor Onyesom Wike has pulled out of the reconciliation efforts of the Edo State chapter of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. Wike stated this yesterday while speaking to newsmen in Port Harcourt accusing some members of the National Working Committee of the party as psychophants and tax collectors who would never tell the truth. The governor said that instead of the National Working Committee to carry everybody along in a do state, they resorted to using the media to blackmail him. He said, I told them that in a do state, we must handle the issue carefully and carry everybody along. They must respect human beings and not behave like tax collectors. They said, because an order was obtained from a federal high court in Port Harcourt, then I am responsible. I have had sleepless nights to resolve the issue in Edo State. The governors of Edo, Adamawa and Delta States know what I have done to resolve the issues in Edo State. As a result of this senseless accusation, I have pulled out of Edo State settlement. My integrity matters. I have also directed my lawyer to write this day newspaper on the publication they made against me in their Tuesday 23rd of June 2020 edition. I know the members of the National Working Committee of PDP who connived with this day. They are tax collectors. Let them challenge me and I will come out with more facts. Nobody will rubbish me by raising false accusations against me. I will fight back, he declared. The governor said he would no longer participate in any reconciliation and wondered why the National Working Committee now wants to consult governors of the party. Wicke questioned why the National Working Committee did not consult with governors in the case of Bayelsa State. He warned that if PDP is not careful, the crisis in the APC would be a child's play. I am brought up not to accept injustice, and that is why I keep speaking out on national issues. Nobody in PDP can intimidate river states. Nobody can threaten me because I say things must be done constitutionally. I will always continue to satisfy my conscience. From now on, I want to concentrate on the development of river states. He added. So, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story and uh, from all what is happening both in the uh, Edo State and um, the PDP, as it were, generally? One would imagine that by now they will have put themselves together and uh, work and be working hard to ensure that uh, the issues are resolved. But alas, it seemed not to be so. And um, it is sad and unfortunate that this is the reality at the moment. Well, we all know that Nielsen Wike is a character himself and uh, he is he's the kind of person that wants to always uh, uh, have his way. And uh, But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. It remains to be seen what the PDP will come out to do. It cannot be denied that Godwin Obaseki paid a huge sum of money 
to the PDP to be able to get um, defect, uh, they must have bargained, uh, reached assurances and all what have you for them to have been able to uh, agree for him to, uh, you know, defect to the PDP because he needed a second term and he wants to get the ticket. No doubt about that. But as it is right now, guys, what do you think can be the issue? What do you think? Now that Nyeso Wike said he has pulled out of um, the reconciliation, what will be, how will they settle issues? I know those who are already in the PDP already before Baseki came, you know, a lot of them or some of them would actually not feel happy and uh, they were like, uh, we were there before. So why would somebody who is just coming would come and take a position and wants to, you know, take the party's ticket? But let's be sincere and let's be truthful. Who among these guys can stand Ize Iyamu as it were? So one would expect that they should have put themselves together, accept the fact that Obaseki is coming in. For the sake of defeating Oshomole and for the sake of helping Obaseki realize the second time, they ought to have agreed within themselves to, okay, let's offer these guys the ticket and, uh, you know, get whatever settlement that is needed or we, uh, we would want to collect and let's work together so that the party can move on. But, you know, selfish interest and uh, everybody claiming to have to be popular or claiming to want to get into office and into power and all that, you know, would continue to uh, make them derail. But it is what it is. Let's take a few reactions and let's see what people are saying concerning this issue. Ahmed Zeto Sadiq says, Hmm, Wiki has shared 8 billion naira and he has abandoned Obaseki. Could that be true? I don't think that is true. I don't think that is a, a you know, but it is what it is. Never say never. Sani Muidin Olua Sanjo says, Obaseki, Obaseki, Obaseki. There was peace in his party before your arrival. Or there was peace in this party before your arrival. Likewise, before you became governor in APC. Please, what is going on? Please check yourself as the ambition should not be too important than the lives of a do people. I love this governor, Wiki. He says his beat, whether he is wrong or right, as a person. I admire his courage. Okay? Another person says, interesting. Obaseki is in trouble. I said it before and I'm saying it again. You can't bite the finger that feed you. Okay? Kelvin Nye says, whatever the issue is, it will be resolved. Trust me, Obaseki will pass through these difficult times and emerge victorious. All right? It remains to be seen. We keep our fingers crossed and uh, see. Daramala Tokwe says, Obaseki is telling PDP that they don't have any serious person in the party by giving them options to run with his deputy in the party. He just defected to. That's a big slap on the party in a do state. And to show how desperate Obaseki is. Well, it is what it is. If he, he probably might have a point, you know, the popularity of the individuals, you know, is a lot to consider. Another person says nobody should try River State. Anything that enters his mouth, he vomits to the public domain. Okay. And his Sunday says, my problem with Wiki is that he talks too much and feels things should always be done his own way. Nicholas Notefe says, Mr. Governor, I sabi sabi, go kill yourself. You claim to be wise, but you are the most foolish animal I have ever seen. Don't withdraw anything. Continue with your foolishness. Okay. Wiki, the senior godfather, is talking. Nobody can challenge him. During the last presidential primary election of PDP, he threatened that the primary must take place in River State. Otherwise, they will see his other side. What happened... All the Mugu in the PDP agreed. Well, this is just the beginning. Augustine also said, Oga Obaseki, just travel to any country in America or any other country with your family. Just pretend you are to rest. Nobody will understand because the disgrace is too much. Guys, do you agree with this idea? Philip P says, Obaseki don't enter one chance party. I pity Obaseki and his co-travelers. Sorry, the man when push enter 
don't abandon you. Well, it's not really an abandonment, as it were. Obaseki also is a man of himself, and I believe he knows what it is, and he knows his responsibility, as he should be able to handle things for himself, that I believe. That I believe. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Kindly drop in the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.